Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Forest River Salem 22 RBS couples travel trailer. We're going to take a minute, walk you through the inside and then back to the outside. Then we're going to close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this brand new Salem 22 RBS travel trailer here. And the Salem product is actually the big brother product to the Wildwood, Forest River Wildwood brand. They use the exact same model number, also Wildwood 22 RBS. And they run down the same assembly line, use all the same basic materials. They just kind of change up some coloring and graphic but basically the same camper. So if you're out looking at one or the other, uh, again, basically the same thing, just different colors. We're gonna start here in the living room slash kitchen area here. Now, this is again a couple's coach, so there's no bunk beds or anything like that. However, this little L-shaped lounge sofa area here will fold down and make into a bed. And you can remove that little L-shaped section as well. So you can have a nice long area there for a tall person to sleep, one or two people. Now, the sofa, when it's in up mode, can also be used as kind of a dinette area as well. There's a little pole that attaches to the front of the sofa section there, and you have a little spin around tabletop there. So you could have a couple people eat right there. Now that table actually stores underneath of this L-shaped section there. You can see there's a little storage bin down there and a little slide area where you could slide the tabletop right underneath of there. Now, in front of the sofa is also a couple more fold-down doors and there's some storage bin and storage area right underneath of there. Over to the right of the sofa, you do have the 12-volt Everchill refrigerator. So a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Some nice big windows there in the slide out section. Now spinning back around here, we have the little kitchen area right there. Electric fireplace sound bar your monitor panel is there as well which basically has your slide button on it awning button on it uh, water heater gas button the electric buttons outside you'll see when we get there um, light switches for the awning and also interior light switches water pump and monitor control panel for telling you how full the tanks are now, just above the sound bar is also your cable slash satellite hookups or TV hookups uh, for the antenna system, electric outlet there. The wall is backed for a nice flat screen TV if you want to put a good flat screen TV up there. And over on the left again, back to the kitchen section here, you have some overhead cabinets, a uh, pretty good amount of space there. Traditional microwave for an RV. Um, there's a hood range with a light and fan up there. You do have the Greystone gas oven slash three burner stove top. So it's about a 17 inch oven roughly. And it does have the light built in. Again, glass front with the LED lit knobs and stuff like that. There's also a um, glass cover that does fold down giving you a little more counter space if you're not using that uh, stove top there but the cover also when it flips back kind of acts as a little bit of a backsplash as well then you do have a window that goes across that section there and it does slide open so you can get some airflow through here if you need to high rise faucet which is basically a little spring faucet sprayer faucet kind of setup then you do have a dual separated sink there as well. Now down below you do have a couple pull out full extending uh, ball bearing drawer guided drawers there. And then on the right side is a little bit of storage space underneath of there. On the side of the cabinet down there you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses along with the propane leak detector down there as well. 
On the uh, wall there, you do have uh, basically two electric outlets, four plugs. Uh, just above that is the control, the digital control for your Coleman air conditioner and your furnace. Air conditioner up top, furnace is located below the oven actually, and then kind of blows out through the uh, four vents. Light switch over there as well. Up here is going to be your bedroom area. So you have hanging closet on both sides of the bed and there's a little hole on the side of those cabinets so you can reach back in there to get to things. Also your electric outlets are in those areas as well. Now there's 12 volt USB charger ports on both sides as well along with little area in front of the cabinets where you could set stuff like a little nightstand area. You have some overhead cabinets up there as well. Now the bed does raise up, so a traditional camper queen bed here, 60 inches wide, about 75 inches long roughly. So most RVs, uh, queens are shorter than a house queen. Um, few brands do use real house queens, but uh, this is a traditional short camper queen. That does raise up again, and you got some little cubby hole storage below, along with a little area to kind of kick your shoes underneath of. And then you can also access the stuff in the storage compartment if needed as well. Window on both sides of the bed, and each one of them does actually open. You have some more TV hookups up there as well. Pull down roller shades in here. And then you got a big sliding door that comes all the way across and kind of blocks off your room for privacy. Now looking back out into the living room section here, really, really nice size unit for a couple's coach. Easy to get in and out of most of the campgrounds and state parks. The bathroom area is all the way across the back section back there and that does have again another big sliding pocket door. Now, down in the corner, it's kind of hidden and blocked a little bit by that sliding pocket door, but there is actually an electric outlet down there. So if you needed to plug something in, you could, you would just have to slide that uh, door partially closed a little bit, a few inches. Now back here, we're gonna pop up a few pictures so this is a little bit easier to see but you do have a pretty good size linen closet area right here. And along with some extra storage below the uh, sink area there and a traditional medicine cabinet setup. Window up here as well that does open along with a little vent fan up top there. And kind of coming down the other side, you have again more linen storage area over there. Corner shower set up here, which does have the uh, optional skylight up top there. And it does have the pull across door, like a vinyl material door. But plenty of room in this bathroom to actually get in and out of the shower, get dressed, and not have to worry about hitting your head as easily. Uh, as some of these small RV bathrooms. All right, guys, we're gonna run to the outside, show you all around that, and then we're gonna also come back in and close it up for you, show you what it looks like closed. Uh, one thing I did forget, uh, right here's a little closet area, pantry area, I guess you'd say. Um, so I always forget about that because it's kind of hidden behind the TV area but that is where that's located, even has a little light inside of there. Now we're gonna head outside and then we'll be right back. All right guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Salem 22 RBS here. We're gonna start on the door side, kind of work our way around, then we'll head back in and close her up for you. Starting up front here, you do have a large pass-through storage. Again, this goes right underneath the bed area that you seen when we were inside there earlier. Little tool area holder right there for your jack handle and your uh, JT strong arm piece as well. And there's also a little light inside of there. 
Now the jacks on the Salem are the heavy duty scissor stabilizer jacks with the JT strong arm piece attached to it. So it stabilizes not just up and down, but also kind of a sideways motion as well. Really nice upgrade for a scissor jack setup. Now underneath of there, the underbelly of the RV is also enclosed. They're using the sectionalized underbelly so you can take it apart easier for maintenance if nece uh, necessary. Hopefully you never have to do it, but it is not a one sheet kind of deal set up like some brands are using. The unit has a power awning with an LED light strip built in. I've got it part of the way out here to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, but the arms are also adjustable for tilting and water runoff. And then it also has the manual override for the emergency use in case of an electronic failure. It's up in this first arm here in the top head. You pull out the little rubber plug, stick your socket ratchet in there, and you can manually crank it in if it failed electronically. Six gallon gas and electric water heater right here, and the electric switch and the drain plug are right there in the bottom of the uh, water heater there, you see. A couple outdoor speakers here with the blue LED light backing in there. You also have some outside TV hookups here as well, and your furnace exhaust out here. Now the fresh water tank fills up right here as well, so you basically just as a gravity fill, so you stick your hose right in the uh, fresh water filler there. Watch it on your monitor panel inside to make sure you don't overfill it, and you're good to go. Now the drain for that fresh water tank is right down there it's basically an inch and a half dump valve handle so it will dump a lot quicker than the old half inch version but all you got to do is uh, basically just kind of reach under there open up that valve and it'll dump right out now you have the solid step entry step here so basically this comes down touches the ground holds up to 500 pounds where a traditional hover step is only rated for about 300 pounds so it holds more weight, and then it doesn't shake the camper as bad when you are running in and out of the RV. So nice little improvement there on the step. The feet are adjustable in length, so depending on how unlevel your campsite might be, you can uh, kind of adjust those feet as well. Now the step does flip up inside the entry door area, so you do have to kind of sweep it off or wipe it off if it's kind of muddy or dirty or whatever, so you don't just fling everything inside the camper. Now up above the uh, window there is also your stove exhaust vent there. Traditional entry door and screen door for an RV. Large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out. And then your model number is located right there by that entry door as well. So if you're out shopping and looking around at a dealer's lot, that is where you'll look for the model number and maybe write that down or take a picture of it with your cell phone or something so you'll remember which unit you like as you're out walking around on a lot so you can talk with a salesperson about it. Spare tire mounted on the back. It does come with the spare tire cover you can see there. The water inlet for city water, the cable inlet and the black tank flush are in that lower left corner you're seeing pop up there. The roof has a pretty good arch to it for water runoff. It is a full walk on roof, so you can get up there and walk around. Just make sure there's nothing sharp stuck in the tread of your shoes or anything like that so you don't damage the roof. But you can get up there for maintenance purposes. You're supposed to get up there every so often to check the seals around all the places they cut holes and stuff. So there's plumbing stack vents up there, skylights up there. Uh, you know, whatever roof vents might be there, refrigerator vents, if you got a gas electric refrigerator, something along those lines. So you want to get up there from time to time and inspect that stuff. Now up on the uh, center section there is also a pre-wire, the little black thing in between the uh, top running lights there. It's pre-wired for a, a uh, backup camera or observation camera. So definitely uh, talk with your salesperson about that. I would recommend an observation camera so you can use it while you're driving down the road. In the back corner back here, this is where your detachable power cord plugs in. And that's probably, I'd say 25 to 30 feet long, really. It's stretched all the way up there to that yellow pole. So pretty good, uh, pretty good distance there. 
Now down below that is going to be a low point water drain, which is kind of tucked up behind the metal up there, but there's a low point water drain for winterization purposes. And then you also have your dump valves down here. So you've got your gray and galley uh, dump handle, I'm sorry, gray and black dump handles back here. Slide out is an electric slide, so you push a button, it goes in and out. Uh, it's basically a traditional kind of worm gear electric slide motor that pulls it in and out. It's not a cable slide or a Schwintech uh, in-wall slide. So it's a little more old school, traditional, uh, reliable electric slide system. Up top here on the corners of the slide, it is pre-set up for slide out awning toppers. Basically what that means is the brackets are already mounted to the corner that you see pop up there. And those are for the Solair slide toppers. And the gutter track that runs down the top along the uh, top of the slide, uh, body of the RV here also has a groove put into it so that you can slide the awning material into that existing track and then mount it to those brackets. So you don't have to add any extra holes to the RV. It's kind of nice. The other side of the storage compartment right here, those uh, baggage doors, by the way, are also held up by magnetic clips instead, uh, or magnetic holders instead of plastic clips. So a little bit nicer setup there. Now on the corner of the RV here, you're gonna see some weight stickers and information stickers. Uh, plus we're gonna pop up a couple other stickers here for you too. But um, first thing you're gonna see pop up is gonna be your gross vehicle weight sticker, which has your production date on it, VIN number, axle sizes, gross weight as well. And the next one that's gonna pop up is going to be your dry weight sticker, which is basically the weight of the camper when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next will be your uh, carrying capacity sticker, which basically tells you how much cargo you can put into it before you exceed your gross vehicle weight. Now that gross vehicle weight also, that's not just the uh, one specific weight, that's everything combined. So that's your axle weight, that's your hitch weight, and your cargo weight all combined to that max gross vehicle weight. Don't exceed that. Um, tire stickers are next, so that'll tell you your tire pressure, tire size that's supposed to be on the RV also. Up front here, you're going to have a power tongue jack with a built-in LED light and manual override as well. The unit has a 2 and 5 16 hitch ball, heavy duty safety change, which does have the little uh, extra clip on the side of the frame there. So you can clip those right onto the frame instead of just draping them over it or letting them lay on the ground. There's also a holder for your electric plug there as well. So your seven way barman plug just pops right into that holder again. So it's not just kind of dangling down to the ground. Traditional breakaway cable to lock up the electric brakes on the RV if it were ever to come unattached from the tow vehicle. There is a battery disconnect back underneath of there with a little red key. You just twist it and pull the key out to disconnect it. Hard bottle cover here on the RV. Now the RV comes standard with 20 pound propane tanks, which are basically gas grill tanks. You can opt in for 30 pound propane tanks when ordering it from the factory. So not all dealers do that one feature there. A lot of dealers buy it with the 20 pounders and most people don't realize it till after they are going to pick up the RV that there are only 20 pounders underneath of there. Most of the time Couches RV Nation does stock theirs with 30 pounders. But again, if you want the 30s, make sure you ask your salesperson if it has the 30s. Lower diamond plate metal across the front section there. And then the unit does have a pretty nice rounded front section to it. So it is sloped back pretty good to help with wind aerodynamics. It's not a traditional flat front like some of the old school RVs were. But overall, pretty nice little couples coach, an affordable unit here. We're gonna head back inside and show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're now back inside the RV here, and I wanted to show you what this looks like when we close up the RV. So again, your little monitor panel area is located right down here above the sound bar. 
and we're going to try to do this and see what happens. So push the button to bring it in. You can kind of see here the room does tilt upward at an angle because this is a flush floor slide. So the room has to kind of tilt upward to come in over the main subfloor. And it basically, you can let off the button if you need to, just like I did. So you can kind of walk around, check, make sure there's nothing in your way. You want to make sure there's nothing in the floor area, rocks, pebbles, you know, whatever might be there. Just make sure there's nothing there because it will run right across it and damage your floor and run over whatever you put there. Okay, you kind of heard that little ratchety noise. Again, it's a slip gear, little worm gear. So when it comes all the way in or out, it does kind of make that little ratchety noise. So we can walk right up into the RV, even with the slide closed, we can come on up in here, use our kitchen, use our bathroom. However, we cannot get to the bedroom. So on this model, if you did stop at a rest area and needed to get to the bedroom, you would have to bump the slide out out a little bit so that you could do so and that's pretty easy to do again you got a battery on the RV it's a 12 volt slide motor you basically just hit the button run it out about a foot or so and then you can get right on back into the bedroom but overall you can use pretty much everything in the coach except the bedroom area now when we go back out same kind of setup you just hit the button slide floor goes right on back out again guys don't forget to check out couches RV nation they are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country guys it will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV Really, really appreciate you guys checking out my videos here and taking the time to watch. Be sure to keep an eye out for new mid-year model change videos. We're starting to get a lot of them in and we'll be posting them up regularly. Thanks again, guys.